Hello, and welcome to this demo of Go Global support for OpenID Connect, which allows organizations use their existing single sign on solution to enable single sign on into Go Global hosts. This video would demonstrate single sign on support with Microsoft Active Directory Federation services. Go Global for Graphon provides reliable, secure, low cost multi user access to Windows applications from any location, device, or operating system. Hi, I'm Andy Leonard, and in this video I'll demonstrate single sign on support with Active Directory's Federation services working with Go Global. So, the first thing we need to do is open up the Microsoft Management Console, which I've prepared on the desktop here. So, we double click on this, and then we just expand on the ADFS container here. So, we click on the arrow here on the left hand side, and we just click on Application Groups. Just as a note, for the purpose of this video, I've installed ADFS roles and services onto my AD domain controller. But in a production environment, you would have a separate member server for this, which you would install this on. So from the ADFS management console, we now just click on Add Application Group. So once we clicked on this, we then just need to give it a name. So for this demo purposes, we can call it Demo SSO. Then we just need to give it a description, and we can call it just that. Now we need to select which template we want to use. So to work with Go Global for SSO, we need to use standalone applications. We need to click on server application. So once we've done this, we'll click on next. So the next section here is to set up the server application for OpenID Connect. As you can see here, it has created a unique client identifier. This client identifier will need to be copied into Notepad as it will be used later when setting up OpenID Connect on the Go Global host, which I will demonstrate later on this video. Once you've pasted that into a notepad file, you then need to just put in your redirect URL. So this redirect URL consists of my Go Global host, which as you can see here, and then the port that the APS service is running on, on my Go Global host, and then slash callback.html. By default, Go Global runs on port 491. If this port has changed for any reason, then this port here would be the number you changed it to. Once you've done this, you just click on Next. The next part you need to configure is a configure application credentials. So for this, you just need to click on Generate a Shared Secret. At this point, it's now important to copy this secret to a notepad file or something. So to do this, you just click Copy to Clipboard. Then you can paste the secret into Notepad, as you will need it when you set up OpenID Connect on the Go Global host through the admin console, which I will demonstrate later on in this video. Once you've done this, you just now need to click Next. Now it just brings you onto the summary. So here it just gives you the details that you entered in the various screens. You just click on Next. Now it shows the application group has been successfully created, and you just click on Close. Now we have set up our application group for OpenID Connect in ADFS. We now need to configure Go Global to use these settings. So the first thing we need to do is open the Go Global Admin Console. Once the admin console is open, we need to go to Tools and Host Options. Once the Host Options is open, we now need to go to the Authentication tab. So by default, you know, authentication is set to standard authentication. For this OpenID Connect, we need to click on OpenID Connect. So we click on this. At this point, we can turn off standard, so we can just use OpenID Connect for this demo. So we turn this off. And then we have two options. We have automatically sign into local Windows account or automatically sign users into their domain account. We use an AD and AD Federation services. So for this, we want to click on automatically sign in users into their domain accounts. We also want to click on cache passwords on the host, which gives users full interactive rights for greater access to the host's resources. Now we're ready to configure the OpenID Connect settings in Go Global. Now the information here for client ID or client identifier and client secret is the information we pasted into a notepad file earlier when configuring the application group in ADFS. So now I've pasted those in into the client identifier and the client secret fields. Now I need to just put in the authorized URL, the token URL and the redirect URL. So I've now put in the authorized URL, the token URL and the redirect URL. The authorized and token are just standard URLs used when configuring ADFS. The redirect URL is the same URL I use when setting up the application group in ADFS. 
as you can see, this is the Go Global host, which is this host here. Port 491, which is the port that this host is running on, as you can see from the security tab to port 491. And then it's just the callback HTML file. Once this is all in successfully, we just press on OK. We have now set up the OpenID Connect application group in ADFS and now configured our Go Global host with those settings. So the last thing to show you here is to open up a browser on the Go Global client. So this is Windows 10. And from here, we're going to show you how it all works. So I now open the browser on my Windows 10 machine. Um, and in this instance, I'm using Microsoft Edge. And then from here, I just need to connect to my Go Global host. So I'm using HTTPS. This is my Go Global host. And it's, and it's connected on port 491. So I press enter on this. And now it's asking me to log on to my ADFS server with a AD username and password. So I enter my AD username and password in, then I click sign in. At this point, it's now asking me, do I want to use the app controller to connect to Go Global? So I always click on always allow, and I click on open. Now you see it's now logged on to Go Global, and I can now see my program window. And from here, I can now access any of my published applications. So if you open PowerPoint, for example, by double clicking, you now can see PowerPoint is open and we can use this in our Go Global session. Thank you for watching this video demo of Go Global support for OpenID Connect with ADFS, which allows organizations use their existing single sign-on solution to enable single sign-on into Go Global hosts. For more information about Go Global or to download the 30-day free trial, visit us at www.graphon.com.